Hey y'all, you may or may not know, depending on where you're from, that grapefruit are actually very common in Texas, particularly in the winter time. We have our Texas Ruby Red grapefruits. They're phenomenal, I love them. Every December, my grandmother would always send us a case of them, so they definitely have a special place near and dear in my heart. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the basics of uh, just peeling it and then cutting it into pieces. Because for the most part, that's gonna be how we're gonna use it on here. You know, you can juice a grapefruit like you would any other piece of citrus. You cut it in half, squeeze it, that sort of thing. Not so difficult. But for actually getting it from this state to pieces, it can be a little bit trickier. Um, it, they don't, I have never found that just like digging in like I would with an orange works very well. So what I do is I cut off the top with a knife. And then I'm just gonna go around, then I find that edge, that thick edge, grapefruit just has really thick skin, and start peeling it off. Now, I don't usually get as much pith to come with it as I would like an orange, so you see there's still plenty of that white on there. I wanna remove that, because that white is very bitter. Great thing about peeling grapefruit, though, is you get all that wonderful grapefruit oil on your hand, and it just smells so good. I recommend doing your citruses at the end, actually, when you cut other things, whether it's grapefruit or lime or orange or, or uh, lemon, because it makes everything smell really good and fresh, and it kind of cleans your board up a little bit for you. So you see now I've got this middle where it's joined together. I'm gonna find that and start pulling it apart a little bit, and it'll naturally come apart along the, along the uh, wedges. I'm peel that out. You see all this is pith that I want to try and remove. And so it's just a process of working through the grapefruit to just sort of, you know, get that as much of that pith off as you can. If you leave some on, it's not the end of the world. As I said, it is a little bit bitter, but it's just, it's really not that bad. And as you kind of start to pull it apart, so from here, as I start pulling more wedges apart, I expose more of that pith that I can start pulling back and getting more exposure. So what I want to do is I'm just going to peel it into these pieces. So half of this I've pretty much pulled apart. Oh, a little bit more. And you see as I went, right, I got a lot more of that kind of white pith off um, as I peeled it, as I got the separate pieces. Okay. So from there, then I just take it, take my knife and cut it like that. And now I have grapefruit pieces to work with. So you know, nothing, nothing difficult about it. Really, it's just how to get in the, into the grapefruit in the first place, because as I said, if you're gonna try and go at it like an orange, it's probably not gonna work so well for you. So take a knife, cut the top off, and then from there, you're pretty good to go. Um, definitely can be juicy, a little bit messy, but there's nothing wrong with that. That's it for today.